Hello, everybody. This is Walrus McFish Sr., and we are back with more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. And, uh, I got a sad story for you guys. That, uh, troll character we were working on, well, my computer crashed, and I lost the file. So, if you're wondering why I haven't been uploading any videos these past couple of days, it's because I've been trying to run all sorts of hard drive recovery software, trying to figure out if I could possibly recover that file, and unfortunately it seems to be lost to the ages. So I don't know what to tell you about that. I mean, it's a real shame. That character was real good. We had that um, dragon armor and everything on 4.1. So I was pretty disappointed. I was pretty bummed for a while. But you know what? I'm over it now. You know, I'm in high spirits again, ready to play some more. And, uh, yeah, you know, if there's one thing that Dungeon Crawl is good for, it teaches you how to deal with, uh, irreversible tragedy. <laughs> so anyway, let's jump right into a new character. I considered, you know, I mean, like, doing, I considered trying to recreate the character in wizard mode or something, but it wasn't the same. I started doing it and it just felt really dirty, you know, it really goes against the roguelike ethos <laughs> to do something like that. So anyway... I also considered, you know, we could just start a new troll because, um, you know, I mean, that character didn't really get a fair shake. But honestly, you know, that character was doing great. We we probably would have won, <laughs> you know, let's be honest. We'll call it a spiritual victory. Uh, you know, it was a proof of concept more than anything. You know, they say if you make it to Lair, you should automatically win, right? Making it to Lair is the hardest part of the game. So if I were a good player, I could have won easily that game. So let's try something new, I think. That playlist is just going to have one video. I know, right? Not much of a playlist, but okay. New character. And we're sort of running out of species that we haven't played. At least ones that I have won, haven't won and then we haven't played. But I've got a new idea, which is a centaur. We'll play a centaur because that would not be another good ranged character type. Uh, yeah, and especially with a bow. I mean, a centaur's just got to use a bow, right? I don't think we can really use a crossbow. We could go throwing, but I think bow is just better. We really want to try out this new bow style. So definitely centaur hunter. And, uh, Kozlal, of course. You know, we we got to do another Kozlal game. we we got to see how that goes. So, we'll try that with a short bow. And that's fine. And we need a new name. And, um, honestly, we need a new female name. Because, honestly, these female characters have just not been doing so well. And that's just not really fair. So let's pick something that will be a good name for a horse. <laughs> I don't know, like, Buttercup? We already have a B name, though, on the channel. I try to keep the, the letters separate. So how about something like a horse... a horsella? <laughs> That sounds like a good name for a centaur. Horsella, right? They like the Horsella. Let's name her Horsella Oatbag, just to give her even more personality. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Horsella Oatbag the shooter. I'm sorry if that's racist against centaurs. I, uh, I don't know anything about centaur culture, so I just made a mockery of it. Anyway, uh, here we go. Let's try not to die. Probably the game will punish me now by giving me a swift and foolish death. Whoops. Let's take a look at our skills anyway. So... Fighting is okay. Our fighting aptitude is not bad compared to the rest of our defenses. Yeah, it might even be worth training up our fighting a little bit. Fighting... Well, our dodging is just so bad. We still want to improve it. Our bow skill is so good. Stealth we certainly don't care about. That's part of the reason I picked Centaur is because, well, Centaurs are awful at stealth anyway, and with Kozlal we'll be awful at stealth, so it sort of goes. It's a nice synergy. <laughs> we'll just be really bad at sneaking around. But, uh, what do we want to focus on? Not short blades particularly. I mean, we'll wait till we find something better. It might be nice to find a nice spear or something. But whatever good we find, we'll be fine. So let's just do that 50-50 for now. We do still want to get... We, we'll want to get our bows up. And our dodging. Especially with this new system, I understand. It is, um... Very beneficial to get your, your bow skill higher. 
more so than before. I don't know, we'll have to see how it goes. So let's shoot this kobold. Yeah, okay. We can use a short sword on this guy, but yeah. The other reason I wanted to play the centaur is because I expect it shouldn't be very difficult. <laughs> Just like the troll, honestly. I don't want to have too much trouble. And that sounds pretty dumb, but I mean, come on. You know, it's like I haven't won a centaur yet for some reason. So maybe it's more difficult than it seems. I've won some more difficult... I've won an octopode and stuff like that. We got a spear. Let's wield that. Plus zero spear. So uh, we're going to set that to uh, that spear. All right. Is it worth training up the spear? Maybe. I'm not even sure. Not really. That took way too many arrows. Of course, I still have them all. Hmm. Alright, well, I've got the spear. What happens if I just try to stab this guy? Well, let's shoot him a couple times. And then get him with the spear. Good. Good. I guess we're just going to shoot arrows at everything. Not this cockroach, though. Shoot at anything that might be possibly dangerous, including anything that's intelligent at this point. I'm really just trying to get a feel for what the, uh, the arrow system is like. And that's what we're training. So, oh, here we go. So now we got 38 arrows. Perfect. Like, who knows? These guys could have, like, longbows of distortion or something. A <laughs> longbow distortion would be about the best thing in the world to find. I don't think that exists exactly. But you know what I'm talking about. They could have like a, a dagger of distortion and poke us. So better to use our ranged weapon and take them out from a distance. That is what intelligent creatures do, right? It's one of humans' main advantage over beasts. Going back to the Paleolithic era. Man, can't hit that guy. I should have turned my uh, auto chunks on, I believe, so that's something. Well, pair of glowing gloves. Not cursed, one hopes. Let's check them out. Plus one. Okay, whatever. Not bad. I'll take AC. This guy, I believe we can just kite. Because we are super fast. Yep. Probably will turn out of fighting in a second. I don't really know what else to train. I could get my spears up. Am I really going to train my pole arm though? Blow gun. Yeah, I guess we'll pick up blow guns stuff. Just in case. It's always pretty good to have. Okay, well, we just tapped our way through him. Hmm. Alright, well, so far so good. And our intelligence is not as bad as it was when we were trolls, so we might have a more reasonable chance of learning something like portal projectile or some other stuff. Although we still want to focus on the invocations, of course, because we never even got to give that a proper try. Using the spear to kill the worm. Alright, so what do we want now? Hmm. I think we might want strength. I mean, getting some more dodging would be okay, I guess. Should I put dexterity up to 10? I don't like having single-digit dexterity. Let's just do that. I'm going to put dexterity up to 10. And then I'll probably put subsequent points in strength. Because I think that's good, especially if we find a longbow. What's that? A scale mail and a robe. Yeah. I don't think I want to wear scale mail. What am I wearing right now? Leather armor. That's probably okay for, for my purposes right now. I might want to get my armor up a little bit too. Yeah, let's turn off dodging for a second. Let's get a couple points in armor. So I do want to wear some kind of armor at some point. Okay, here's Jessica. Rune dagger. Jessica the Apprentice Sorceress. I didn't notice that before. It would seem that the uh, unique characters have titles. That's pretty cool. Well, Jessica is shouting for some reason. Calm down, Jessica. You're going to die. Let's take her out. 
Yep. You're gonna die. There you go, you died. Good. Yeah, Jessica's no problem at all. You can push Corpse of Jessica. Rune Dagger. Is that worth checking out? I mean, I don't think I want to use a dagger. Not really. That's just an ooze. Slimy blue potion. That sounds appetizing. He's just got a club. We can tab away from him. I'm not convinced. I'm not intimidated by those guys anymore. To the point that I'm going to waste ammo on them. Snake, we will, though. Come on, hit him. What? Oh, no. What else do we have done? We killed the snake. Alright, now we just have to hope for the best. We still have a bunch of hit points. Uh oh, man. This just got intense. I'm not sure what else we could have done there. <laughs> Honestly, we just fired off all the arrows we had. I mean, we were firing the whole time. Quaff K. Confusion. Quaff L. Agility. Quaff N. Mutation? Okay, that's weird. Quaff. Oh! Quaff R! Oh, that was our last chance and we got it! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man, that's exciting. Did you see that? Whew. Of course you saw it. You're right here. You're watching all the whole time. You're probably on the edge of your seat, man. That was intense. Got a lot of buffs. Let's <laughs> back away here. Wow, dude, that was crazy. I could use some Storm Dragon armor right about now. And I guess some poison resistance. Wow, okay, so that was a little crazy. Armor, we need to keep getting our bows up, I guess, because we couldn't hit that snake. I could use a short-range weapon, but I don't even know. I mean, I think the bow is about the most accurate thing we have right now. Kill this guy. No, it's not exactly, we could kite him, but I didn't feel like it exactly. At least with the fact that we're a centaur, if Kozlaw is going to attract everyone in the world towards us, we can possibly run away. Or whatever. Yeah. Alright. Cool. I don't know. I feel like I need to get some sort of weapon improvement. I need to get a short range weapon. I'm really firing off, whoa, a lot of ammunition. It's not exactly working out for me. Hope that Kozlov comes along sometime soon. <laughs> we see any better armor? No. We got this spear, but that's not exactly good enough. A rune dagger again. Whoa, okay. Another adder. Let's try to do better this time. Uh oh, I don't have anything better. I do have a bone wand. Can I zap it with a bone wand? It worked, so let's try some more. Yes! That worked great. So let's remember that's a good anti adder thing. <laughs> Measure. Man, why is that adder kicking our behind here, you know? Alter of Vehmet is not exactly what we want. Plus, I've won with Vehmet before. We got a bunch of arrows, that's nice. Amulet of some kind, I'm interested in that. Got a bunch of scrolls, I think we can put it on. Okay, it is inaccuracy, but that's okay because we've got Remove Curse right here. Yep. Very good. Ocean Restore Abilities, a bunch of other stuff. We haven't found any bows, have we? Or blow guns? Nope. I don't know what to do about adders. Whoa! It's Natasha. She changed colors. <laughs> she used to be blue. 
as Natasha, a servant of life and death. Now, I guess that's her title. All right, I'm digging the new blue color there, Natasha. Let's fire off a couple arrows. Oh, magic dart. Nice. Suddenly, Natasha's spirit rises from a lifeless body. Very spooky, Natasha. I'm going to eat your corpse, though, if that's okay. Yeah, we need to figure out something to do. I'm not convinced about this situation. Whoops. There's Natasha again. Alright, so. Magic dart. Slowed down. That's unfortunate. Come on. Stupid Natasha. <laughs> Nobody likes you, Natasha. Ugh. Uh-oh. Let's back off a little bit. I'm not slow anymore. That's good. Let's go down this way. I am now. Ugh. Down this way again. So here comes a wizard. I want to go upstairs. Magic dart. I think you can throw magic darts and I can still survive. Alright. That was surprisingly difficult against Natasha there. I think I need some better armor. My AC is only 6. What's my armor going at? It's a 1. I'm doing 100% bows. That's no good. I really need to train something else. Let's put it in fighting and also a little bit more armor. What's the best armor I've seen? There's scale mail. I wonder if that's worth wearing. Might be. Mm, yeah, let's go and check that out. Go ahead and wear this for now. It's not my, my not my top choice, obviously, but now let's check out a different staircase. And yeah, we should have our bow out. Well, here we can just do this, I think. Take these guys upstairs, level five. All right, this character is not feeling half as confident as our troll character. Porcella Oatbag. <laughs> Poor Horsella. Horse mutation. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot we got that mutation. You know what? That's not terrible. Not awful. We have the antenna, which means that uh, we are limited in hat choice. So hopefully we find the hat of the alchemist or something. And um, also we'll shout, which is fine because that goes with our theme of being completely unstealthy. We could also cure out of it, possibly. Alright. Kill Natasha. There we go. That's what we like to see. Kill these jokers, please. Alright, use a spear. Whoa! Okay, so I'm getting poisoned somehow. So let's back off a little bit. Rune flail. That could be interesting. Interesting. Only five hours left. Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of arrows up there, though. Whoops, okay, we gotta get out of here. Good, okay. Now take out that guy. 
Whoops, no arrows. Okay, so we run away. Two arrows. Shoot up there. Two arrows, arrows. Take him out. There we go. So we need to collect some arrows. I think that's the first priority. Do, 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 do. Alright, good. Now we can shoot down these gnolls with great felicity. Whoops. Glowing halberd. Okay, that's what we might be looking for. Plus four halberd. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so yeah. Unless, of course, that uh, ruined whatever is better. I think there was a ruined flail over there. Let's try it out on this orc. Yeah, that's pretty good. We might want to wear that chainmail, too. Check out this rune flail. Oh dear. Well, fine. Remove curse. And wield the halberd again. And drop the... Okay. We might want to work up our pole arms. I mean, that feels like it's a good idea for a centaur. And, you know, a centaur of Kozlal might be nice. We can poke across our clouds and... Uh, you know, used as a supplemental sort of weapon, sort of a pseudo-ranged combat. I kinda like it. I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of convinced. Let's go for a minute longer, and then we'll probably want to train that up. Alright. So, yeah. Let's see. Seems to be effective. 19 arrows... You know what? All right, I'm convinced. Let's let's turn it on. We're gonna work on our pole arms. This is the last time we have to fight Natasha, right? One shot. Boom. Headshot. Potion of curing. Was Natasha's final form carrying that around? I'm not sure. Take out these guys with the halberd. Very nice. Drop that and the short sword because why not? And we got a lot of stuff to check out. Haven't seen any altars except for that one. Um, what else are we looking for? Armor, chainmail. Nine and three compared to eight and six. Well, that's no brainer. Okay, so never mind about that. Our strength is not high enough for chain mail. I think it's pretty good for, for scale mail, though. Yeah, it's just about perfect for that. So let's keep that for a minute. Anything else? Now, Ooh, weapons. Rune daggers, that's it. Fine. Now we're down to 20 hours again, and that's fine. Sling bullets of frost, fine. Jackals, we got that. We got that. No problem. Alright, here comes some stuff. Orcs. Just shoot them with arrows. Seems to be a plan. Alright, so yeah, let's work up our strength. Because, uh, you know, honestly, scale is pretty lame. <laughs> so, you know, let's try to get up to a higher tier of strength. Eventually, we'll probably try to wear dragon armor or something like that. Would be uh, ideal. But we might not find that for a while in a normal game. Are we faster than an ant? We might be. We've got antennae as well, Mr. Ant. What do you think about that? Are you intimidated? Well, you should be. You should be. 
stupid ants. Don't know anything about Paleolithic ranged combat. Tried to use my halberd on that guy. It seemed to work well enough. Just didn't want to get poisoned to death by that ant, because that seems to be a theme for this guy. <laughs> get poisoned a whole bunch. I know they slightly changed the poison system in, like, point fifteen in this new version. Uh, I think I think that just has to do with poison resistance, though. Like, they changed the nature of poison resistance, so it went from something to something else. Um, yeah, but that doesn't really affect us right now. I think it's the reason we're just getting so poisoned is because our defenses are so poor, and we're just a big old horse. We're a big old target to poison. Big old horsella oat bag. We could wear that plate armor. Let's see what it does. Back off into this corner here. Ten to. Yeah. It would be nice to wear plate armor, but it's not going to help us that much. It would also help if we could get our armor up a little bit, which we're working on. We're working on it. Our skills are pretty bad with everything except for bows. Okay. I guess we can use our tab skills for a second. Let's actually get out our bow because I feel like this calls for it. Good. Okay, so that was all my ammo. Okay. I have a potion of curing I could do. I could also run away. Okay, yeah, I should probably do that. Well, let's cure up. There we go. Uh-oh, why did I do that? Okay, let's quaff these other ones. Potion of Lignification. <laughs> okay, let's keep trying to hit this guy. <laughs> Less confused. Nice, turning into a tree might have saved our life. Nice, punctured something with our awesome tree abilities. Yes, this is a perfect time to turn into a tree. Whoops. And now we should run away from this guy, absolutely. Yes, okay, very good. Hmm. Interesting. I guess they took away the uh, dietary restrictions of centaurs. That's really interesting. I am not sure why they did that. Oh, and of course, we do have armor fits poorly on our stranger-shaped body. That's the reason why those heavier armors are not so effective. So, I guess we're going to be wearing just medium armor after all. So our strength can get up a little bit higher, but I mean, something like dragon armor would be ideal, I think. And something like heavily enchanted dragon armor, ideally. Yeah. So maybe that means, let's work up our dodging a little bit more now. Our fighting is getting a little bit better, that's good. We need to heal up. And we're low on ammo. So hopefully our halberd skills go up a little bit. Alright. Fruits? We got some fruits. Get your fruits here. Okay, fresh corpse. Corpse. New kind of amulet. Can't be bad, right? Amulet of clarity. That's very nice to find. Especially after we just got confused so profusely. <laughs> profusely is not exactly the word I'm looking for. Let's not forget we have that wand of frost either. That could do some good work. I might prefer to use that right now. Iguana. Did you get engulfed? Well, you should have been. Alright, good. Just a mini colony, that's that's good. Let's run away from this smite-happy orc priest. 
Uh, I forgot I can sense things. There we go. That's why those things keep appearing. But, uh, that's pretty cool. I forgot about that for a second. And yeah, my flesh is heat resistant, which is awesome. Intrinsic R fire is, is going to come in handy. I don't even want to cure out of this. The fact that we shout is not a big deal. It's worth it. Two for one. Just makes our character more interesting. <laughs> they always take the two for one. Two positives for one negative. That gave, that makes every game more interesting. Uh, so, great. Done with this floor. And, um... I guess we are going down. Keep going down. I'd like to go back to where we were in the last game, you know, just to set things right, you know, just to set things back to where they were. So hopefully we'll go until we get to the lair. Hopefully we'll find Kozlo. It was a really late lair game last time, as I remember. Crimson Imp is, is yellow. That sort of surprises me. Don't you find that slightly surprising? I didn't think Crimson Imps were that, that difficult. Did they get a boost, maybe? I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Or maybe I'm just out of my mind. <laughs> Both very possible. Ringmail could be a good choice for us, too. We haven't seen any ringmail. Oh, yes, we have. We've seen lots of ringmail. Well, okay, yeah. Let's try that. Whoops. Rune Morning Star. Okay, wow. Rune Morning Star was draining. That's actually worth probably abandoning pole arms for. Okay. We need to take this guy out. Morning Star of Draining. That's awesome. Alright, so, yeah. That's worth Q training up a little bit. Fighting, we might be able to turn off. Bows I like to keep on for a little while, at least. And, uh, where was that? We were going to get this ring mail. Try that on, see what happens. 8-6 goes to 8-7. Okay, well, that's just better. Uh, yeah. We could identify some of these things. Wait. Yep, here we go. Let's try this out. Alright, there you go. We can drain these guys. Potions and such. Trident. Okay. Yeah, can we just drain these guys? I want to drain people. You know, playing as a shining one for so long as we did, you know. <laughs> Gotta scratch my itch to use these unholy items. That shadow imp will be immune to draining one imagines. So that leads me to believe, actually. I wonder if it really is worth it. I mean, morning star draining is a nice, nice aura. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I guess it probably is. It's you know, a couple points of investment is not going to kill us either way. You know, two points one way or the other. If we find a much better item, then we can just use it. Our bow is our main priority. And if we have uh, seething elemental magics all around us all the time that can deal with pretty much anything, then uh, maybe having draining along would be a good option. That'll provide us with the uh, spiritual and negative energy bonus that we need to complete our repertoire. Holy Wrath would be nice, but that's really the domain of the shiny one. We had our fill of that last game. We could wield a Holy Wrath weapon if we find one. No reason we couldn't. That's the nice advantage, I guess. Is... There we go. Alright. Life Force Restored. We can use whatever sort of weapon to suit us, because the Kozlal is just cool like that. Kozlal has no particular conduct or anything like that. He just says, be cool, be loud, 
You know, that's his main conduct. Be as loud as possible. Here comes an ogre. Which would normally be concerning, except we're super fast and we have a ranged weapon. Okay. Come on. There we go. Moth of Wrath is interesting. This is an altar of Trog, obviously. Which is fine, but not for us. I already have a Trog win under my belt. It was actually my second win. Winning with Trog is sort of a uh, rite of passage for new players. It's, it's, it's a relatively easy thing to do. But it teaches you a lot about the game. The Trog game is surprisingly deep. Especially in things like food management. You can get surprisingly hungry. What's this? A crystal dagger. Are we going to go with uh, long blades or short blades after all? Let's check it out. Plus three dagger with venom and dexterity. It's okay. Not the worst dagger I ever saw. And poison people and run away. Mm. I don't know. I've got some okay weapon choices. I'll hang on to it. But I'm not really convinced by anything I have right now. Happy to work up a couple points of mazes and flails just because that's a pretty solid choice in general. Yeah, and I, as I was saying before, I guess they've changed the dietary restrictions. You know, I'm not complaining about that, but I just seemed like I wasn't burning through food as quickly as I was expecting to. And yeah, I mean, it used to be that centaurs had a faster than average metabolism and also a uh, herbivory preference. And that does not seem to be the case any longer. Here's an orc priest. I feel troubled by that, apparently. I don't blame my character for feeling that way. Killing the orc priest is good. Yeah, let's see if we can kill them all from a distance. How do you like getting smitten? by arrows. I imagine you don't like it at all. But I don't care. Whoa, it's Grinder. Alright, Grinder. Game on. Certainly having um, the Morning Star draining is not doing us any favors with facing Grinder. But our arrows seem to be doing good work. Come on, seven. Yes! That was you know, not too bad. We shot Grinder a lot, and he died, and we got a whole bunch of experience. Mason flows up to two. Stuff going up to stuff. Very good. Defeat a skeleton of ourselves. That's pretty spooky. I mean, imagine facing a skeleton of yourself. That'd be weird. Here's an adder which is no longer much of a threat, although I'm terrified of it because of the encounter earlier in this video. Man, that was crazy. I was really, really hoping we would not have to start over. Dodging is a little better. So our skills are going up slowly but surely. Centaurs have pretty weak aptitudes, which is why I wanted... To, part of the reason I wanted to do this, you know, I mean, I wanted to play a weak aptitude race. So we have to focus on the bows. We have to focus on... Um, you know, the invocations. Assuming we find this altar sometime soon. Come on, Kozlo. Let's go upstairs, do that. Nice. So that draining seems to work pretty well. Hello, orcs. Let's see if we can tab through them a little bit. Yep. Here comes the Goliath Beetle. I'll use my arrows, I guess. I wish I had a blowgun. Do I have a blowgun yet? No. Do they make blowguns rarer? I'm blowing through all my ammo. I can't really afford to do that. Let's just try kiting it a little bit. Or, I don't know if kiting is the right word here exactly. But you know what I'm talking about. I'm dancing it. <laughs> yeah, okay, he got drained. Excessively drained. A ring? Okay, that's nice. Nice to happen across one of those. Let's see what it is. 
protection from magic. I'm down. I'm totally down with that. Uh, clone staff. Okay, iguanas are in the white range, which is great. Let's see if we can just drain them up. They still hit pretty hard. Whoa, okay. He got a double bite on me. So let's use our bow skills. Yeah. Bow skills. Come on, then. Die, you stupid iguana. Alright, fine. Here comes that Goliath Beetle. Let's see if we can drain him some more in the way that we did before. Yep. Nice. Okay. So we're doing okay. What was that? A poison needle. Okay, so we got our blowgun. That'll work well against future Goliath Beetles. That's our new plan against arachnids and uh, insects, arthropods in general. Poison them. Punish them. And destroy them. Like, we could do that here, but I think this guy we can actually hit with our draining. It'll be fine. A phantom. Alright. I'll use my arrows, I guess. Just because the draining is not going to do much. Draining on this guy will be totally ineffective. This is not working. Okay, that was a difficult fight. And we're burning through our ammunition a little bit faster than I would like. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Good. Oh, and we found the economic the economic we we found the temple. <laughs> that was my uh, porky pig impression. It wasn't very good. Let's see, Kazal, looking for you. That's Oka. Kazal, there we are. Hi, Kaz. What's up? Absolutely, we're going to join your religion. Your religion is awesome. And yeah, his altar is really cool. It goes, cycles back and forth between like blue and white, and then it sort of goes like stormy brown. Like, yeah, I guess right now it's, it goes into phases, I guess, because right now it seems to be completely blue and white. But then if I take a couple steps, it changes, right? It definitely changes. Yeah, like now it's all green and brown. So it's like it went from earth, it went from water, I guess, to earth or from lightning to earth or something, and then it goes into fiery mode later. So it's really cool. It's a cool temple. I like it. It's basically what I expected it to be, but, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's well done. It's executed well. So, good. Horsella Oatbag has a religion. We got faith now. Faith of Kozlal. And, uh, good. Orc Warrior. That's a little bit concerning. A little bit concerning to the point that we might use our, uh, blue gun. Orc War is poisoned, even sicker. So why don't you just get nice and dead there, Mr. Orc Warrior. Even sicker. Yeah, if you could just die, that'd be great. Glowing Hand Axe. I don't think we want to be bothered with that. Yeah, we might even like to get a two-handed weapon at some point. Which could be an argument for either pole arms or maces and flails. Both of them have not bad options. Crimson Imp. Can we just tab this guy? Yeah, he's pretty blinky. Ugh, stop blinking. And he's pretty regenerated too. That's the other thing about those those guys. Shiny one. What aren't you doing in the temple? Get back in the temple. Got a whole bunch of stuff to identify. We should probably do that. The Rogue of Clouds. Nice. Is that new? That's awesome. I think that's exactly what we're looking for. 
So good. I was about to say, you know, I was going to say at the beginning of the game, the game owes me Storm Dragon armor. I think I probably did say that something to that effect. I didn't want to jinx myself explicitly, though. But here we go. This seems just as good, and actually it's pretty good for my character because wearing armor is not so good. It's the enchantment that I really want. So we can get at least a little bit of EV. I'll continue to train my dodging up. Yeah, let's wear that right now. And what happened with that? A thin mist springs up around me? What does that mean exactly? What, can we examine this? This is obviously some sort of unrandar. A robe of material as flimsy and insubstantial as the clouds. It lets you fly. So does it generate clouds around me? Thin mist. It seems to generate mist. I'm all about that. It's going to add to my Kozlal effects. Right? We're going to have so many clouds. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> We're standing in the rain. Okay. And we can fly, right? Can we fly permanently? I'm not sure. Let's find out. No. But that's okay. Well, this is pretty weird, but whatever. <laughs> I hope this doesn't negatively impact our Kozlov clouds. We might have to give this up eventually because we might want to have more Kozlov clouds. But at the same time, the other another part of me says the more clouds the better. <laughs> and you know, this is pretty good for our defenses. We'll see how things play out. Hello, Mr. Centaur. We'll whack you with the uh, Morning Star here because that seems to be the appropriate thing to do. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm digging this. Wait, did we not worship Kozlaw? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm a real, a real fool. Yes. Yes. Good. All right. All right. So that was really stupid. I'm glad I caught that before too long. Sky Beast. All right, perfect. We have the ability to resist that thing's stuff. We still can't see it. We're basically a Sky Beast right now ourselves. I wouldn't be surprised if this was made out of a Sky Beast hide or something somehow. Okay, let's tab away through this. Yeah, this robe is good for us. I think it's really good. We actually have a double digits EV now. Kozlaw is going to help us out a little bit in that regard, too. Does this mist provide us with... Come on. Okay, we got to eat some food. Stupid hungry ghost. I was not expecting this hungry ghost to give me so much difficulty. There we go. Alright, so what do we put it in? Our strength is up to 16, which is not bad. I guess we should put it in dexterity some more if we do want to get our dodging up. So let's let's get another point of dexterity. We do have a bunch more arrows now, so let's use those. Oh, because we killed that centaur, probably. We'll eat some beef jerky. Yeah, there we go. That hungry ghost gave me a lot of trouble. Possibly I should not have attempted to tap through it like that. Especially because, of course, the draining does not do anything against the ghost types. Jellies will eat our arrows, but they'll also corrode our stuff. We have a book of power, but we're not going conjurations this game because it's fairly redundant with the bow, and uh, plus we're bad at it, so no reason at all. Let's zap this wand of frost at this guy. I think it seems appropriate. Okay, good. Bolts is something, but not what we're looking for. Okay. <laughs> I do like that I'm sort of got like mini Kozlaw going on right now already. Very nice. Tab through these jerks. Alright, so I'm feeling a lot better ever since I found this robe. Makes me feel good. We've got fly, we've got our electricity. It makes me feel like this character has got some legs. Four of them, in fact. <laughs> oh no, another hungry ghost. Can we outrun it? Alright, so that makes me feel especially stupid. We don't need to waste any food on this guy at all. Maybe just a few arrows. 
And does this mist provide fog effect? I think, did I just already say that? But I'm still wondering, and I'm not sure. It would be cool if it did. Alright, finish them off. Finish them off. There we go. Good. Prince Ribbon. So, our bow skill is much better. We haven't seen any better bows, have we? We saw that bow, but our short bow is better. Let's try shooting him. Kill the centaur, that's something. Good, he's blinking around, which is to our advantage. He does hit pretty hard. But I think we got this. Come on, yeah, no problem. Very good, very good. Okay, yeah. Nice, standing in the water. So we can, in fact, generate pools of water, which is excellent. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's excellent exactly, but it is. I think we're actually big enough that... Okay, food shop. Fighting in the water is not to our disadvantage. I mean, walking through the water is still... will slow, still slow us down, but... Honestly, that's not that bad. So, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. Alright. That also means we should work up our invocations a little bit. Our invocations is at... Uh, plus one aptitude as a centaur, which is not terrible. Eh, you know, I mean, it's still kind of bad, <laughs> but, you know, in the grand scheme of things, but compared to the rest of the centaur's aptitudes, pretty good. We're bad at most things. So, at least we can be okay at invocations. Which I would expect, for some reason. Based on Harry Potter, mostly, I'd say. <laughs> Alright, keep going down. Interesting place. Interested in place. Lots of doors. Interested by it. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to identify. I should possibly do that. Let's go upstairs and identify all our stuff. Alright, so read our scrolls. Random uselessness. Blinking. Um, enchant armor, we'll get our gloves up, nice, double digits in two of our, uh, categories, hopefully Kozlov will give us the third, read that, scroll of summoning, that's pretty neat, J, fear, D, teleportation, Q, fog, E, amnesia, B, identify, L, beneficial mutation. Interesting. I'm going to quaff that, of course, but let's check out these other ones first. Potions of Might, Z, Invisibility, and um, let's see. I'm not sure about those other ones. I'm going to save one identify, but let's, let's figure out what this is. Potions of Brilliance. Probably don't really need that. Let's quaff uh, Potion of Beneficial Mutation. See what happens. Feel agile. Okay. I'm all about that. All about that mutation set. Cool. Twisted silver wand. Is a wand of polymorph? Okay. Pretty neat. Very neat. Totally 100% neat is what I'm trying to say here. Guess we'll hit this guy some more with this frost puffing. Ogre should get poisoned, I guess, is the most appropriate response. Alright. Whoa! Why don't you just get poisoned to death, you stupid ogre? Hey! There we go. No Kozlal piety yet, or at least not to the first threshold. I think we can bash through these guys pretty well. Nice. Oh, hello, it's a necrophage. I'd rather not get rotted if possible. Oh, look at that. Nice fire. Ugh, I got rotted. Well, that's annoying, but oh well. 
Got my flesh rotting away. Uh, so obnoxious. Eat some stuff if possible. Okay. Well, I do have a lot of clouds now. <laughs> That's something you can say about something. I guess we'll eat this uh, beef jerky. Nice. Filled me up. Filled me up right. I'm hoping my Kozlov guys take priority. I really am. Oh, nice. One shot to Shadow Imp. That's pretty great. So our bow skill is getting better. If we found a, a, a long bow, that would really like make my life. Giant frog. Our shielding went up too, that's great. So our Kozlaw abilities are definitely starting to take effect. Dith Menos is pretty cool. He gave us our one and only win <laughs> on this series or on this uh, YouTube channel. I was hoping I'd have more by now. We really should have had more by now. I wonder if we quaff Jay. I wonder if that's a a heal wounds. It might be worth quaffing that to get rid of these three points of uh, rot if that's the case. Whoa. Pykel. And two slaves. That worried me for a second. Those look like ghosts for a second. Right? Once proud human who has been magically enslaved, now is a timid, simpering creature ready to perform any deed at its master's command. However, its magical enslavement will last only as long as its master does and would surely appreciate being free. It looks dangerous. Yeah, those looked like player ghosts to me. And, uh, you know... That was dangerous. The, the combination of seeing those player ghost like symbols along with the red text led me to believe we were running into a very dangerous coast, and that seems impossible to me considering that we just reinstalled point fifteen. So anyway. What are we gonna do about this? Run away, I think. Seems like the wisest thing to do. We're fast enough to run away. I think we probably should. We're super loud, of course. Let's shoot some arrows as we go. Nice. We can take out Pykel. That would be the greatest, obviously. Pykel's almost dead. Come on, then. Die, you stupid Pykel. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Got him. That was a crack shot, too. I had to shoot over the freed slave. Stupid simpering slave. <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, you're free. Go on. Whip of flaming is interesting. But I think I prefer the morning star of draining. Ogre. Okay. Yeah, alright. So also the lack of stealth is definitely starting to kick in. One can tell these jokers are coming from miles around just to get a glimpse of my awesome clouds. There's a pretty cool Kybriados altar with water and a Goliath beetle. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, what's going on? Do I have to really fight this guy? What is that? Oh, that's me. <laughs> Good. Wish we had poison resistance so we could eat some more stuff. A new ring? Okay. Oh man, really? Well, that's lame. Drop that stupid ring. Yeah, let's quaff this. Yeah, I thought it might be that. Yeah, we, we can't eat that. That would have been a delicious meal. New kind of wand. Digging, very good to know. Good utility wands. Done exploring. Okay, very good. All right, we expect to happen upon the lair sometime soon. Let's eat a fruit. 
So I think we're going to get some food in a second. That's a helmet which we can't wear, unfortunately, because of our stupid thing. <laughs> Antennae. You can tell I'm starting to get fatigued. I'm going to wrap this up soon. I've been playing for like an hour. I did want to get make it to the lair, though. That's a good breaking point. That's like, you know, the early part of the game. If we can make it that far, then we can make it anywhere. Good. Alright, so we got a proper frog. Frog meal there. Meal of frog meat. Oh, we can get shot down. We have 72 arrows now, so we are doing pretty good for ammo now. And we've got all sorts of pretty clouds surrounding us. I wish we knew Tornado. Tornado with a Kozlov character would be incredible. Red Rash and Mimic. Whoa! Very interesting. Alright, it seems like my antennae sensed that. Glad I did, actually, because I didn't want to fight it at the same time as that thing. Yeah, but we'll go and fight it. Absolutely, we'll fight the Mimic. You think I'm scared of a Mimic? Shaped like bread? Well, I'm not, mister, I'll tell you that. Killer B. Should be able to drain him. Okay, well, there is a, uh, or priests. So I'd like to step around the corner, at least. Kill them. Nice. Got flames just appearing out of nowhere. That's pretty awesome. Shoot arrows. Whoa, okay. Come on. Whoa. Okay, so I've got that heal wounds. I could shoot my frost as well. How are these guys doing? Okay, I have to quaff that. And then I have to read teleport, I guess. Or run away. I don't trust either option. I could go invisible. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, they can still hear me. I should like read a teleport or something, huh? I gotta get out of here. Am I lethally poisoned? I might be. I don't think so. I think it would have said so. Yeah, okay, we got this. <laughs> we got this. That was super dangerous. Okay, eat some pizza, just to recover a little bit. Nice. Alright, so that's where we were, I think. Good. Those arrows seem to help. Stupid orc priests and killer bees. Poison seems to be a really big issue for us. I wish we could find poison resistance. That was the priest. Alright, so you're going down. There we go. You can just get taken out by ordinary means. Steam Dragon Armor is a good option for us. Yeah, okay. We'll pick up the hide at least. Sky Beast Zombie. So zombies might have just turned yellow? I'm not sure why some zombies seem to be yellow, some seem to be brown. Or maybe I'm just getting confused. It could just be a stylistic choice. Or it could be a difference between the types of zombies. I'm not sure. We can tab away through a hippogriff, right? Of course we can. Nice. Invocation skill is going up, which is good, I guess, except that we can't do anything yet. We will be able to do something soon. Alright, let's not get excessively smitten this time. Use our bow, because that's by far our best ability. Something invisible here. That's okay. 
We've got awesome clouds surrounding us all the time. I can now call upon nature to destroy my foes. Okay. That's pretty great. I appreciate that. Kozlal. He is reluctant to approach any further because of my clouds. That's really awesome. And then, of course, I can uh, hold him at bay and use my ranged weaponry. Alright, this could work out just fine. Except it seems like I'm having too many tight spots. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that was a really tight spot we were just in just now. And of course that tight spot with the adder from earlier in the game. Let's so use our... Uh, let's back off actually. This is time to back off. This is now time to use Blowgun. Poison him up a little bit. You poisoned yet? Yes, he ought to be at least. Well, okay. Yeah. Come on, then. Die, you stupid jerks. Alright, here we go. Alright, good. How many more hours do I have? 60. I get 65. That's not bad. Whoa, way too many guys. Alright, did we discover the entrance to the Orcish Mines or something? One supposes that we may have. Come over here. Get over here and fight. Okay. Nice. Scroll of teleportation. That's a good find for us. Shoot down this guy from a distance. Nice. Shoot down a few of these guys from a distance. Have you uh, have you guys seen the game Hoplite? <laughs> I was just turned on to this game. It's a uh, neat little sort of roguelike style game for mobile devices. I have it for my iPhone. And uh, it's sort of a hex based geometry puzzle game where you play as a Greek hoplite style warrior with a spear and a dagger. And it's very interesting. Yeah, it's, it's more deterministic than Crawl is, but it has some really interesting aspects. I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's of course simple. It has nowhere near the depth that Crawl does, but. It's a, it's a good game. If you're looking for a, a cheap $2 game for your phone, which is entertaining. I can recommend it from personal experience. Alright, this guy is being annoying, but we got him. No troll dragon armor, unfortunately. Troll dragon armor, listen to me. Troll leather armor. But I don't think we would even wear it. I mean, we've got this sweet robe. Robe of the clouds. Pretty cool thing to wear. It might be literally made out of clouds. Roar of Battle. Alright, so this is a lot like our <laughs> other playthrough. Found a Bailey in that game, too. Let's see if we can find it real quick. Orcish Mines. That was the Orcish Mines. Well, wait. Faint creaking. Was that it down there? What was that down there? Yeah, here it is. What? Stone wall. Rock wall over here. So, I mean, here it is. We just need to get to it. I guess we have to fight our way up through it. Oh, what? That's ridiculous. I guess I'm just going to dig through. What do you think about that, you stupid aura flame? I don't know how to pronounce that word. I don't even know what it is. Aura flame, aura flame. What is that? Do you know? I don't. But we managed to outsmart it. <laughs> we dug our way in. Come on, horse sell out bag. Let's try not to die here. Orc. We can fly, which is nice. Maybe we should do that now. Fly up into the air. Okay, good. I get the feeling it'll be much easier from this side. Because, well, uh, they'll try to hit us from halberds, and they expect us not to be able to retaliate. But we can retaliate very easily. <laughs> so 
So I think we got this challenge in the bag. We, if we wanted to be even more safe, we could just use our uh, arrows. But I don't think that'll be necessary. Mason flails up to six now, which is respectable. That's a moderate degree of skill with the weapon. All right, Orc Knight is over there. That's a little bit crazy, but we can just go across the water. I don't think it's really a challenge. Where is he? Okay, he's in there through the glass, so we have to go and face him later. There he is. Let's go and check out over here. Okay. <laughs> All these clouds are pretty awesome and confusing. I'm going to go with mostly awesome, but slightly confusing. This whole place is shaped like an awesome star fortress. That's awesome. That's really cool. I learned about star fortresses, of course, from playing uh, Crusader Kings 2. It's another excellent game. I can't believe I didn't know about star fortresses before. You should really look it up if you don't know what a star fort is. Read the Wikipedia page. Just look at the picture. Cause it's awesome. It looks like a big star. All right. So these guys can we poison them? I'm sick of, let's try to get all these guys. Just keep shooting needles until they all get poisoned to death. I guess. Seems to be a plan. We could eventually start shooting some arrows too, or whatever. Orc warrior died. Orc knight. Yeah, can we just keep like poisoning him them a lot? <laughs> this doesn't exactly seem to be in the spirit of like the roar of battle. We're doing things assassin ninja style, but hey, man. All is fair in love and war, right? I'm sure Sunsea would appreciate this. You are getting dead. You should seem to be completely dead. Poisoned. Yes. Very good. Oh no. <laughs> All right, good. Poisoned it before he could do anything. That's good. This guy will fight legit. Oh man, see this is what happens when you fight guys legit. You get hurt. Water, huh? That's improbable. Around all this. Oh, ice dragon. Oh, okay. Room boots, steaming hand axe. Well, check it out. Wheel D, what is it? Plus seven hand axe. Not bad. Um, yeah. Rune boots, unfortunately, we can't wear. Uh, hang on, you know, I don't think I'm going to use axes in this game, but. I mean, I'm not short on inventory space, so let's just keep it for now. Ice Dragon Armor. Let's see what that does for us. We wield... Alright, so if we wear it, we go from 10-12 to 11-7. Yeah. That's not good enough for us. Oh, 7-12 from wearing that. And 10-12 uh, from that. Yeah, Steam Dragon Hide could be a good bet. But I don't know, right now the Robo Cloud is just as the clear winner. Well, hang on to this Ice Dragon Armor. I mean, you never know when it's going to ask for it in a treasure trove or something like that. We'll also fly over here and take all of our poison needles. Good. Okay, grab a whole bunch of stuff. Good. And now we'll go over here. That was neat. You know, robbed that belly blind. Going axes is not a terrible idea, but... Yeah, honestly, axes could be pretty cool.
Well, we've already trained up two weapon skills already. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Alright. Lenification. You know what? I'm taking that lenification. That's a wand of flame. Okay, fine. Potion of heal wounds. Good. And we found the lair, and there's a fire drake. Alright, but we're somewhat resistant to that. Okay. Fire drake is also now a K. That's surprising. I thought that K was mostly reserved for insects. But it would seem not. I mean, I thought K was like fireflies and things. Am I mistaken about the nature of what a fire drake is? Whoops. Small but dangerous dragon, puffing clouds of smoke, and it's a K. Alright, well, that's interesting. Let's just try to get closer and uh, tab at him. I blocked him with my awesome three shield abilities. Nice. Alright, good. Okay, new kind of ring. I'm interested. Let's shoot at this gargoyle a little bit. Because I feel like we could kill him that way. Nice. We got a ring, a ring of teleport control. Well, it's better than nothing, I guess. Absolutely. I mean, it's a good ring to find. It's just not exactly what we're looking for right now. New kind of scroll is cool. Noise, fine. Noisier than we already are. Is kind of whatever. New wand of digging, fine. We got all sorts of neat stuff. Water moccasin, can we tab our way through? We don't have poison resistance. We might like to have poison resistance. Yeah, I mean, I guess in that troll game we had regeneration, which is why we could get by without it. Now we might really prefer to have it, especially in the lair. But we have a variety of ranged weapons. Here's Maurice the Thief. Makes sense to me. All right, that seems to be his deal. Well, okay, let's shoot him a little bit. Yeah, he's gone. So let's lead him through the mist, I guess. Faster than he is. So I get here for a second, then go downstairs. Where'd you go? Stupid thing, you stole my wands. Yeah, he's standing in my clouds at least. Get over here. Ugh. Where'd he go? Man, he stole all my stuff. <laughs> Okay, well, come with a wand of frost. We're up to 108 arrows, that's nice. That's cool. Okay, okay. Let's try to get closer. We do have our... Ah. Oh. Come on, give me some clouds here. Our antennae should help, right? I think I think it should. What are you, a monk? Why, because you don't have anything to steal? Stupid Maurice. Okay, Maurice, get back here. We're not done with you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, get back here. Stupid Maurice, I hate this. <sighs> yeah, I know we're done exploring, but we gotta go and hunt down Maurice. This reminds me of that part in Super Mario 64. <laughs> down in the basement where you have to hunt down that rabbit who's got the star and you have to keep chasing him around and he keeps running away and then you just have to get him just right in order to kill him before he runs away if you played Super Mario 64 you probably know the part I'm talking about it's pretty memorable <laughs> okay stupid Maurice where'd you go like you can't just leave all our stuff behind right So it's just cut our losses. And at this point, I mean, we might use more food wandering around looking for them than we actually do from getting our stuff back. Here he is again. Let's try a couple other things. Let's try one to polymorph. Okay, that's not bad because we're resistant. And he dropped all our stuff. Alright, that's good. I was worried that he would not do that. Oh, he stole all of our, our money. Huh. That's why he was complaining. Oh. Yeah, okay, good. So he's got that. He also had a cloak, right? Yeah, let's wield that cloak, absolutely. A little bit of extra AC, not going to complain about that. Very good. Alright, so that's something. And then we can go to the lair. So let's go to the lair, make a stash, and call it a video. And we'll be right back to where we were. Level 11, that's great. Here we have a pair of boots, which is no good for us. Quaka coming our way. Fighting is getting good. We can probably turn that off pretty soon. Although, these are our core skills. We're doing pretty well. Axes. Oh yeah, they changed how... Uh, skills work too, so we could actually use that axe relatively well. Might be worth it. Plus seven hand axe. Might be better than what we got. Chop. I don't know. I'm not sure to auto pick up Zahn, that's the way it ought to be. Here comes a bunch of yaks. Let's try shooting them with some bows. Okay, this seems to work well enough. Let's try hitting them with some stuff. That also, that seems to hurt a little bit. But I'm sure it's hurting them too to be standing in my elemental fury. Alright, these yaks hurt a little harder than they should. So we can't tab our way through yaks yet. That's not exactly encouraging. <laughs> Considering, whoops, that we expect to see much worse than yaks as we go through. Of course that was a bad angle, you know, I mean. We can't frivolously tab our way through yaks. Maybe if they were all in a row we would be better off. <sighs> but you know, something like death yaks or something, you know, that leads me to believe that we should exercise extreme caution. Now, you know, naturally our main focus has been on range combat, so if we take them down carefully from a distance, like here, we should absolutely use our arrows to the greatest extent possible. And then here we will, yes, use our draining attack. Cool. Iguana we can take out. Alright, this is good. Gastronok is coming and he's probably wearing a hat, right? Wearing a ruined hat, that's really good. Gastronok is also a W now. <laughs> Which is a surprise, it used to be a J. Alright, fine. Well, let's get out of view of Gastronok because, well, he can airstrike us and do all sorts of other nasty stuff. Take out this Joker. I think we can wield this and then uh, poison him. Seems like a plan. Yeah. Now let's fire off a couple of these. Alright. 
that seemed to work okay. Yeah. Alright, that's working. Let's shoot him down a little bit. We can take a couple airstrikes. We can eat an airstrike or two. Let's try hitting him with just the morning star draining. Worked really well. So good. Cook out gastronok. Trying this awesome hat. It's just a plus one hat. <laughs> Alright, you know, that uh, could be could be better, could be worse, that could be way worse, that could be incredibly much worse, that could be like the best thing I ever saw. Centaur barding for a centaur, that's what you dream to see. So, brilliant. We've actually got quite a good set of armor now, I think we're pretty much decked out in terms of armor. No shield, but we never really intended to wear one, so yeah, we have a full complement of stuff now. Some of it could stand to be a lot better, but... Some of it could stand to be a lot worse, too. And if there's one thing we're not lacking right now, it's clouds. <laughs> we certainly got the cloud thing going on. Hand crossbow, that's pretty neat, but of course, not our style. Eight headed hydro, whoa. So, um, we need to run away from this thing, of course. Try shooting it down. I'm doing some reasonable damage. But if this thing gets too close to us, it could really ruin our day. So we're keeping good distance. Alright, it does regenerate a little too quickly for our tastes. If it could walk through our clouds a lot, that'd be awesome. Okay, yeah, so it's walking through a lot of our clouds. Got him! Nice! That was great. Eight at Hydra. That was a, a test of metal right there. Can't let that thing touch you, especially considering... Well, AC is not actually as bad as I thought it was, but... Still not spectacular. It's not in the range where you want to... Just let eight headed Hydras attack you for no reason. Here comes some sheep. We ought to be able to tap away through sheep basically. Still not great, but we're getting there. Alright, Blink Frog. Okay, Blink Frogs are kinda nasty. Let's try using our abilities here. How about we, uh... We could try an upheaval on this. Alright, but we don't think we have to. How about an upheaval right now, just see what happens. Nice. Cutting wind, cutting wind. That worked well enough. I liked it. So yeah, let's let's not hesitate to use that if uh, things are all sort of bunched up like that. These guys need to die right now, huh? There we go. Yeah, we need to work on a lot of stuff. Our dodging is no good, our fighting is no good. We're working on it, I mean, we're doing the best we can. Whoa, rotting. Okay, well, never mind. Yep, here's more frog. Let's try our arrows this time. We could try another upheaval there. That seemed to work relatively well. Morning star now. Because our morning star skill is not bad either. Okay, here we're using just more arrows. Whoa, this is kind of bad. Let them blink, blink along a little bit. Okay, killed one. Yeah, blink away. There we go, okay. Whoops, okay. We got this. Come on, take him out. Ugh, okay. Ugh, I don't want to do this, but we have to heal. There we go. There we go. We can take out a pack of green rats, right, at least. Armor class is not that bad. Good. We've got all these clouds. Whoa, another hit hydra. Whoa. Got a scroll blinking if we need it. Good. Alright, this is fine. Whoops. Alright, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 
eight headed hydra can bite you for quite a bit of damage. Okay. Here comes this stupid snake. Good. Alright, now here comes the Hydra. We did this before. Uh oh, it's finding a frog though. Ugh, no, 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 no. What if we go up this way? We've been up that way before, right? Alright, now we, this is more manageable. up there. Is that a dead end? No. Are we faster than this frog? Maybe. If we can just sort of rush these guys around through our clouds too, that's sort of a good thing. Yeah, like they'll hesitate to go through our clouds, and if they do, they take damage. Okay, good. Now we just need to take out the Hydra. We lost back here somehow. Whoops, there he is. Hello. We are definitively faster than the Hydra. Nice. Shoot him down. Can't wait till we get a longbow and can do some real damage. Or at least enchant it up a little ways. Yes. Got him. Got him. Alright, this character is a little tenuous, but he gets the job done. I mean, we're fast, of course. That's the thing about being a centaur. You know, you respect... Once you understand how big of an advantage speed is in Crawl, then you come to understand how powerful centaurs are, really. We're very close to having intrinsic uh, repel missiles. Our Kozlov piety is not quite as high as it was when we were at this point in the last game, but well, it was a little deeper as well. So there's the uh, top. Where's the closest stairs to that? Probably this one. So this is where we shall create our stash. Keep going over there. Yep, here come some frogs. All right, we'll eat something up here. Let's eat that pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Drag this guy up here and uh, pull this guy away before we get poisoned to death take out this stupid frog there we go alright good great so now we'll create our stash here whoops create our stash drop some of the stuff we don't want, like this and this, and this and this, and that, and, um, oh, we got some arrows of frost, that's neat, I didn't even notice that, that, and that, and that, 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 good, um, fine. New kind of potion. Check that out. And good. Well, here comes a bunch more guys. <laughs> While I was dropping stuff, I wasn't exactly expecting that to happen. But okay, we'll finish them off. Nice. And the storm surrounding me repels missiles now. That's good. That's just exactly what I was talking about. That's a perfect place to uh, call it. And yes, struck by lightning, cloud of thunder, cloud of thunder, cloud of rain. Ah, oh, man, we are the true storm bringers now. So hopefully Kozlaw is happy with our cloudy attire and our uh, devotion to his cloudy arts. And uh, yeah, here comes more guys. I get the feeling more people will just come to us in general when we play as uh, Kozlaw. But I think it's a great place to call it a video. Alright, it's getting late and this is a long video. So, 
thanks for watching, you guys. It's been great, and uh, hopefully you're not too broken up over the loss of the last video. But, you know, it happens. So, here's a new character for us to enjoy. Hopefully we don't lose this one. I'll see you next time.